Washington Blade photograph taken on a Saturday afternoon in November of 1986 at Frank Hanley's home at 5020 Cathedral Avenue, Northwest. The photograph shows the late Bruce Scott kneeling next to Tony Jakubowski, who was also one of the founders of this organization, and me. I met Bruce Scott on Tuesday evening, March 6, 1962, when I became the 17th member of the Managing Society of Washington at Earl Aiken's apartment on Harvard Street. Bruce was then 50 and was secretary of the Mattachine Society. Bruce Scott began working for the U.S. Department of Labor in 1938. During October 1947, he was arrested for loitering in Lafayette Square as part of the U.S. Park Police's pervert elimination program. When security in his office was upgraded in 1956, Bruce's 1947 arrest, arrest was discovered, as well as the fact that he was living with a fired gay federal employee. His boss suggested that he resign. With the assistance of ACLU attorney David Carolina, whom I knew, Scott filed suit in April 1963 and received national media attention. In 1965, the U.S. Court of Appeals ruled in favor of Bruce Scott. Chief Judge Bassalon faulted the Civil Service Commission for charging Scott with unspecified homosexual conduct without presenting any evidence. With the Scott versus Macy decision, the commission was now required to document its charges. On Tuesday afternoon, June 25, June 23, 2015, Frank Hanley's name was entered into the Hall of Honors at the U.S. Department of Labor. Secretary of Labor Tom Perez apologized to me before a large audience of LGBT federal employees that the Labor Department and fire Bruce Scott. Yes. Much has been done, much remains to be done. Here's to 